In your practice, there may be newly diagnosed patients with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer who think they should start on immunotherapy right away. As a nurse, you're an important member of the multidisciplinary team helping to educate patients. There's a myth out there causing some confusion for patients around IO therapies, and we are about to throw it under the bus. The myth is that immunotherapy is an appropriate first-line option for all patients newly diagnosed with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. This is not always true, especially if the patient has an actionable driver mutation. Newly diagnosed patients are often bombarded with information about IOs across multiple sources. This may be why you notice patients coming into your practice with questions about IOs. Also, patients may feel an urgent need to start treatment because the majority of them are diagnosed at a later stage. To a newly diagnosed patient, it can feel like there's no time to waste, but now is the time to be sure their treatment is right for them. It's important to know that one in three stage four non-small cell lung cancer patients with adenocarcinoma has an actionable mutation. Guidelines recommend that a targeted therapy, not an IO therapy, is the appropriate first line option in these patients. As a nurse, you can help your patients understand why it's so essential to know their mutation status before starting treatment. Confirming your patient's mutational status is the first step in determining their optimal treatment. Continue to be an advocate for patients during their treatment journey to help ensure they're getting the right treatment at the right time. I'm glad we got to the bottom of this to dispel the myth that immunotherapy is an appropriate first-line option for all newly diagnosed stage four non-small cell lung cancer patients. AstraZeneca acknowledges how nurses form the backbone of our healthcare system, working around the clock to identify the needs of patients. Thank you for all that you do.